Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. HSBC acknowledges XRP Ledger as a game changer for cross border payments. Well, I mean, look, all us XRP holders, we already know how powerful XRP is. So, right here, you're kind of preaching to the choir. But the reason why this is so good is because HSBC is a huge bank. So, when you're seeing international banks recognizing XRP like this, it's just kind of showing you to me that, like, the writing's on the wall, right? They're recognizing it, they see the positives for what XRP can bring. So why wouldn't they want to use this in the future? The fact that they're acknowledging this, wouldn't this tell you that this is stuff that they're keeping their eye on? They've seen what it can do and they acknowledge what it's there for. So surely this is something that they would want to use in the future, right? So I think what you're getting here when you see these kind of things is them giving you just the the early peep to say, yeah, this is something we're, we're keeping an eye on. This is something that we see and it... You know, it's looking very good. I mean, they're calling it a game changer. It, they're not they're not being negative about it. They seem to be embracing it. They're saying how it's a game changer. So clearly that's something that they would want to be a part of, right? So again, this is where I see these things and I just think, surely XRP's future is just going to be absolutely insane. And this isn't the only bank that we've seen recognize XRP. There's plenty. You can go along and look, do some Googles, look on Twitter. You'll find plenty of banks talking about XRP. So when we see these kind of things, isn't it safe to assume that these are all the banks that are going to be wanting to take part in this in the future? Wouldn't you want to be in a position where you can make more competitive offers for cross-border payments to your customers? Doesn't that make sense? And ultimately, isn't that going to drive huge value for XRP? It makes sense to me. So I just think this is just huge stuff that, again, gives you a lot more confidence with regards to XRP and showing you that the future is bright. But let's get into the article. HSBC, the largest Europe-based bank by Total Assets, has referenced the XRP ledger, in brackets XRPL, for cross-border payments in a groundbreaking acknowledgement of the transformative potential of distributed ledger technology, in brackets DLT. The bank made the recognition in a document titled, quote, Distributed Ledger Technology in the Capital Markets Game Changers, Future Trends in Security Services, unquote. Specifically, the revelation came to light when Edward Farina, Head of Social Adoption at XRP Healthcare, in brackets XRPH, shared a screenshot from the supposed document on Twitter. The screenshot captured a section of the HSBC paper which recognized DLT as a, quote, game changer, unquote, in the financial industry. Within the document, HSBC outlined various compelling applications for DLT in capital markets, highlighting its potential to streamline processes and enhance efficiency. The bank emphasized the role of DLT in the payment sector and its ability to facilitate end-to-end -end value transfers while reducing costs operational risks and settlement periods. One noteworthy example in the document was the Ripple blockchain XRP Ledger, which HSBC described as being renowned for its quote, real-time cross-border settlement using tokens that represent central bank currencies, unquote. HSBC acknowledged the XRP Ledger's capability to facilitate instant and secure cross-border transactions, transforming the traditional foreign exchange landscape. HSBC tool processes 250 billion. In emphasizing the magnitude of its operations, the document revealed that HSBC's FX Everywhere tool had already processed over 3 million intercompany foreign exchange transactions, amounting to a staggering 250 billion in its first year alone. By integrating the XRP ledger into their operations, HSBC anticipates significant improvements in the cross border payments offering customers faster and more cost-effective options. The mention of the XRP ledger in such a prominent financial institution's document underscores its increasing recognition and adoption within the traditional banking sector. Recently, XRPL crossed a significant landmark, attaining its 80 millionth closed ledger in a decade-long end of hour, 
as reported by the crypto basic last month. I mean, look, it's exactly what I was just saying. HSBC, huge bank. Listen to how the, the, the amount of transactions that they've performed. 250 billion. You know, like th th this is this is huge. And again, as they said, I have to agree, the fact that a, such a huge bank is recognizing this openly, publicly, it shows that XRP is getting the adoption now. People are starting to recognize it and it's getting the respect it deserves. And to me, this just shows that they're showing their eye on it. And to me, it's just showing that this is the kind of thing they're going to be looking to in the near future. And I think, you know, a lot of people look at this and say, well, why aren't they using it now? Well, first and foremost, there's a huge lawsuit going on. That That's one thing straight away. And two, you've got to understand that these things take time. The thing is with traditional banks is they've been around and they're kind of like dinosaurs, right? They're very old school. It takes time for them to adapt to this kind of technology. It, it doesn't just come in and straight away just get replaced on, you know, things that they've had doing for like, you know, years and years, maybe like decades. It takes time for them to kind of grow and adopt and understand this kind of technology. So it's just a process. But you're seeing the banks recognize this, which I think is showing you that they're looking at this. And I think they're seeing the positives, which makes sense to say that they're looking to potentially go along and adopt this technology in the near future. So I just think this is really big. But what do you guys think? Do you think this is a huge thing in regards to XRP? And do you think HSBC will be using XRP in the near future? Or do you not agree? Do you think this is not really anything but, you know, people just saying some public acknowledgement and not really going to be anything of value for XRP in the long term? Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like and subscribe. But until next time, take care.